A regular season winding down on the IHSAA basketball calendar. Our Friday fast break ready to become February fever with tourney time on the road to the field house. We're ready for it. Let's tip things off in Hamilton County tonight. The HSE Royals facing Carmel in a non-conference clash. HSE's Donovan Hamilton for two. The Royals offense did struggle most of the night. Carmel, though, getting rolling before the half. This is Josh Wack off the dribble, hoping to beat the buzzer, and he gets it done, and the Greyhounds run away with a victory, 59-29. to Well, a tough task for Ben Davis tonight, taking on Lawrence North, and that guy, C.J. Gunn. Giants down by 14 and trying to rally. Nice passing leads to an easy Zane Dowdy basket. B.D. clawing their way back in this one. Later, it's Sheridan Sharp connecting from long range for three. The Giants cut it to under single digits. But then Gunn, the IU recruit, gets going. Reverse, beautiful finish for two. Lawrence North wins 63-52. to How about Warren Central hosting Southport? The Warriors up big at the break. The Cardinals trying to play some catch-up. Warren Black, that is A.J. Dantzler scoring the corner triple. As for the dub, C, Tay Davis to Kamari Banks, hands the jumper. Warren Central's ball now, Southport's Keon Miller with the steal down the floor, the bucket, but Warren Central wins this one 74 to 52. How about Brownsburg, the teddy bear toss with Noblesville in town, over 150 stuffed toys collected, benefiting children in the community. I love it. The Brownsburg comes out strong too. Kennan Catchings led the way with 17 points, but also got it done on defense with a huge block, turns into a Grant Porath bucket, and the Brownsburg Bulldogs lead by a dozen at the half. End of the third, Miller's down big. E.J. Smith pulled the trigger for the parking lot and nails it, but it's way too much dogs tonight. Sean Tupola, the big dunk. Brownsburg goes on to win 75 to 60. Elsewhere in the mix, strike up the band. North Central hosting Red Devils of Pike. Devils off and running, too. Cam Kasky soaring to the hoop for two. This one a back-and-forth affair. Pike always an entertaining team to watch. North Central's turn. A long pass finds Joey Brown behind Pike's defense for the easy layup. Well, Pike responds. It is a spark from Ryan Conwell. He dishes to Devin Woods. His three is good, and Pike gets it done 73-64. to well, the Fishers Tigers have lost just once in nearly two months. Their potent offense has been the driving force. Tigers at Pendleton Heights tonight. Josiah Gustin from way out hits the three ball for the visiting team. Well, Pendleton's Jamison Dunham responds for the Arabians, Arabians but Fishers runs away 59-44. to Ron Colley taking on Heritage Christian and budding star Miles Colvin. Well, the Purdue recruit is rolling early. He gets the bucket to drop. Nice move inside. He's fouled. Eagles jump out to an early 9-0 lead. The Royals struggling. Nolan Tunney finally finds the bottom of the net with a free ball for Roncalli's first points. Tonight, though, all HC. Heritage Christian cruises 54-39. Park Tudor's student section very lively in pink tonight, hosting Bishop Chittard. The home Panthers get going early. Bryce Petty for two and a nice start. A bucket and one. The Chatards turn on the other end. TJ Alexander decides to step way out and hit the long three. And Bishop Chatard has the lead, but Park Tudor goes on a 10 0 run. Jordan Bowles finds Thomas Ruffin, and the Panthers win this one 74 60. How about Speedway? The Plugs traveling down the road to face the Saints of Lutheran. And the home team off to a hot start. Look at Montassi Clay with the spin move. The bucket off the glass. Nicely done. For Speedway, Nate Metallic to Kale Bennett for the corner three. The Plugs tie this one up, but Lutheran goes on to win this game at home 55-51.